This is another in the First Read series. It's a series where I just read a poem for the first time by a poet I don't know or know very little about. And I just do a sheer pleasure reading. I'm not reading to teach something. I'm not reading to fit it inside the poet's other work, to use literary theory to understand it. I'm just reading for joy, like I think. You know, we get into poetry because of the sheer joy we have in the words. That's where I'm coming from with these. So, well, this one. This poem is from Blood Orange Review. It's Once I Carried a Pediculous Head. And I picked this rather randomly. Um, I just clicked on the journal and, I don't know, something about the title clicked me. Jacob Sands, um, I don't know. I'm just looking at it here. It says he was born in Chicago and raised in Cicero. Weird connections. I actually taught in Cicero once. Um, I live in the Chicago suburbs. Um, he earned a BA in Creative by Columbia College. Even taught there just briefly. So, I don't know anything about him. I'm just going to read it. I always look at a form when I read it. This one looks fairly standard. You know, if this were like you know, 100 years ago, I might think, you know, this is a terzarima or some version of that house, hair, beetle, realm, creatures, and so there's no rhyme scheme with it that way. Let's check on the line links, a whole colony, a whole colony of louse made a house in thick, in thick fields of my dark straight hair. So the line links are different here. So I'm assuming this is done um, for looks or for line links and things like that. So I'm not going to read for traditional meter. I always pay attention to the meter a little bit when I'm reading because it's in everything, whether you want it to be or not. But um, I think the poet might be going on. Is there a gotten Wait, look, is this, does it play it? I'll do that once I'm done and see if it plays it. Like I said, I don't read these beforehand, so I don't know if I'm going to like it or dislike it or whatever, and I don't even know if they're worth listening to as a reader since it's just me having a reading. Once I carried a ridiculous head, um, <laughs> I think. Yeah, maybe if you don't have kids or don't remember your childhood, that might strike you as like, what in the hell is that? Um, relates to having lice. And so I had a lice-filled head, which, you know, I don't know if I did or not, but I remember lice in school when I was a kid, and they come up with little kids. It's just part of it. Um, so I'm assuming we're going to get into that based on it. A whole colony of louse made a house. In the thick fields of my dark and straight hair. This first line is very sing-songy. A whole colony of louse made a house. That rhyme, it almost feels too much there. Um, but it's definitely playing around what it, with what I thought was coming from the title. This colony of louse in the thick, dark and straight hair. That sing-songiness doesn't continue on in the other lines. So I wonder about its presence there. And that first line, is it supposed to make you... Think back to childhood, that sing-songiness. The thick fields of my dark and straight hair. I like the second line, the thick fields, the devil stresses here. My dark and straight hair. Stayed like a bastard child of a beetle. Yeah, so lice, they come in and they stay and you don't necessarily want them. Mom used a thick black comb to roam my skull and pulled from it tiny-legged creatures eager to escape the bars they nestled in. This is, you know, I feel like a very common childhood thing. Like parents combing through their kids' hair with a, you know, with a comb, trying to find the lice and see if they're there, right? When excessive combing and scrubbing with medicinal shampoo didn't kill them. So I wonder what's up with the with here. I have no problem with abbreviations or anything in poetry. It's, you know, it's not like it just started. But I wonder why when the rest of the poem doesn't do that. Um, we just have the with happening, you know, three times that I can see right off the bat. Wondering why that specifically is there. With medicinal shampoo, didn't kill them. When medicinal shampoo didn't kill them, I'm shaving my head with the clippers. So when the shampoo didn't work, when the like the killing shampoo that you get the light shampoo doesn't work. Um, the mom shaved the head with clippers, which is not unusual. I guess, you know, like shaving the whole head is an excessive 
um, response to the lice instead of just letting the shampoo work, although that would be some serious lice if the shampoo doesn't kill them. She used to line up my father's neck, so the clippers that she used to line up my father's neck, so that line goes with that first other stanza. The machine plowed through the heath. I'm like calling the heath of the hair here as being described a certain way, dark and straight, the heath here, with sharp teeth, sharp sharp steel teeth leaving behind bits. This is like a really strong stresses. Three in a row, right? Sharp steel teeth leaving behind bits. And the two B's here. Nice sound of legs and antennae in its metal grin. This is a, an interesting image here of the, the metal chopping away at the heath, which is at the hair, and leaving behind these bits of the animal as it cuts through and it has a grin as it cuts through things and kills in its way. Mom scoured my head like an agent of pediculicide. It's a word I've, I don't think I've ever said, but it's literally um, the insecticides that you use to kill the lice, sidestepping the beginnings of a rat tail I grew as a, as a kid, a sign of a pest in the eyes of those who wield a different steel made for cutting, made for culling, made for cutting down. This is the last stanza takes it slightly in a different direction, the steel that cuts, but it's a you know, different cut happening in the end, culling for cutting down, cutting down pest, like this initial memory of having things being cut, the hair all cut off because the lice when the pesticide didn't work, right? The mom becoming a symbol of the insecticide cutting off and destroying the pest as it's made its way through. The mom becomes this character who does the action. It's an early, it looks like, you know, an early memory of elementary school or something like that. Having this experience of the mom and it is, you know, well, lice can, I don't know. if Did I see this? I think lice can be like a traumatic experience. I don't think it is traumatic in this one as much as um, just descriptive of what happened. That is, of course, like I said, Joseph Saints. And then let's see if this does this. Let's see if it does it. Jacob Signs. Ah, oh, see, there we go. Got his pronunciation from that. All right, um, interesting. I wonder how this fits in a, in a bigger collection. Um, what would go next at this poem? I think that would be interesting in reading a book. What are the poems around this one that make you rethink how this poem is read? Anyway, once I carried a ridiculous head, Blood Orange Review.